friends, this is Jules of Paper Gems by Jules, and today I am showing you how I turn this Sweet Little Smiles stamp set by Unity Stamp Company into an Easter card. Um, so I, instead of using the Honey Pot, I didn't allow the ink using a memento marker onto that section so that I can kind of sketch in what will turn into an Easter egg. So using a pencil, I, I first sketch it out and that way I can erase any mistakes and then I'll use the memento marker to finish off the image and kind of blend it in so that it makes a little more sense. Um, next you'll see that I color in poo. Um, I listed the colors that I used and you know, you can use anything really with Winnie the Pooh. It, it doesn't have to be, and remember this is a classic one, so it probably should be br more brown if anything, but again, it's art. You do what you want, um, enjoy it, make make sure that it's fun and not a hassle. Um, but here I am, I'm just sketching it out um, using some shadows. So I recently watched somebody else coloring, and you know, again, I'm still learning. I'm by no means an expert when it comes to Copic uh, coloring, but, um, by leaving the outskirts white and then later on using a lighter color to fill that in, that is supposed to give you more of a rounded, um, I guess, rounded feeling when you're coloring. So, uh, you know, don't quote me. I'm just trying stuff out and learning. Um, but I think it looked kind of cool. Um, I wish I had a little more ink in this last marker to blend this out a little bit better, but it, again, uh, I'm okay with it. It's, you know, it's handmade. It's not, um, you know, Hallmark, so I'm okay with all that. So that's pretty much how I color in my poo. I hope you guys are all enjoying all the Winnie the Pooh stamp sets that have come out um, recently by Unity. I love them. I am collecting them. I'm not going to lie, but here I am altering this one. So the next thing I'm going to do is sketch in some of the lines for the Easter egg. And again, I'm still winging this. I am just trying something out. And I had another one that I tried out with more of a pattern, but I figured this is a little simpler to start with in just doing lines. I didn't like the angles that I did this one in, so I erased it and started over. Um, again, great thing about using a pencil is that you have a little wiggle room just make sure that when you're using your pencil that it's a very light sketch that you're not going really hard and making an indentation into the page so once i like what i see i go back in with this memento marker it is the it's called rich coco um i did again do um prior to this video one with the tuxedo black and it was it wasn't terrible but it just was a little bold so I wanted to use more of a softer color and I think this brown definitely is a little uh, warmer in, in its look. So now um, using pastels to color in the Easter egg, uh, just doing some mild shadowing. Normally I like to shadow with at least three different Copics, but um, you know, it's an Easter egg. It's not the end of the world. And just again, trying to keep it light and fun. I used uh, light blues, purples, pinks, and yellows. Um, again, if you wanted to do a pattern on your Easter egg, if you wanted to do um, paper piecing, you could do that too. I just kind of had this idea. I wanted to make an Easter card for this uh, this blog, and I kind of looking through my stash and realized I see an opportunity. So, um, needless to say, I will probably be purchasing a few more Easter Easter um, stamps. But in the meantime. I wanted to give you guys an idea of how to maximize some of the stamps that you have to turn them into anything. Now, you might even be able to, I don't know, put that bow. There's also a bow included in this um, stamp set. You can make this into like a Christmas gift um, and put that bow on top of the on top of the honey pot. You know, it'd be a cute little way to add, you know, kind of a Christmas theme to this Winnie the Pooh. Um, there's a party hat on there. You could easily change that into a Christmas hat if you wanted to. So there's unlimited ideas. Don't be limited to just the what the illustrator created because you too can add on little features. Um, so don't don't hesitate to kind of have a 
have different visions of, of these uh, images. Um, last part here is just making some grass. I use two different colors, so I start in with a, a lighter color, G24, um, just to fill this in. And you can go over the image. I mean, make it realistic. Grass isn't just always going to be behind you, so it might be covering up where you're sitting. The next color I used, I believe, was a G G85. Um, and I kind of filled it in a little bit more just to really ground the image and put it all together. Some of this gets chopped off um, when I use the dye, but you'll, you'll see as it comes together. But that's pretty much it. Um, I hope you enjoyed this and I hope this inspired some ideas. Um, I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments and I hope you had a great day and enjoy the holiday weekend. Take care. Thank you.